on 1030, that means it's time for some celebrity dish. And look who we have in the house. We've got entertainment blogger Jojo Cruz, uh, who you're meeting Homa for the first time, yes, too, right? Yes, yes. So, so Homa, Jojo, Jojo. <laughs> so nice to meet you. It's funny, because I was like, where you been? I haven't seen you in a minute. You yep. were like, I was here last time. You weren't. <laughs> you weren't here, so right. good to Real see you. Good to see you again. <laughs> and you came bearing gifts? Oh, he yes. Got a, he got a gift from Bella. Isn't that My so sweet? Yes, yes, your instanese. Oh, it's good to have you again. Thank you. Thank All right, you. let's hop into it here. Uh, first up, there is a renaissance happening, uh, <laughs> thanks to one bodyguard for Beyonce. Let's bring in producer Chris. Uh, Chris, apparently he's stealing a little bit of her spotlight, right? A little bit of her spotlight. <laughs> and remind, let me know if this reminds you of anything else. So the internet cannot get enough of Beyonce's hot bodyguard, okay? His name is James Plaza, and he is going viral after a fan spotted him standing in front of the stage during Beyonce's performance of her song, Energy, right here at FedEx Field over the weekend. So the now viral TikTok capturing the moment during another viral moment on Beyonce's door, the Everybody on Mute section, mm -hmm. that Beyonce declared, do you see the winner of earlier this week? We mentioned that while fans were muting themselves during that part of the song, the TikToker behind the video shows that he the bodyguard couldn't help but notice the smile. He seemed impressed by our, and by I'm taking credit for this, our <laughs> being DC's ability to hit that on mute. So fans have done some digging and they have found his Instagram. It appears he's also a competitive bodybuilder. In the immediate days since that video went viral, his followers quadrupled. <laughs> However, it appears he has since put his page on private, uh -oh. guys. Uh-oh. He so, muted everybody. Exactly. <laughs> right, right. What do you, did you hear about this? I did hear about this. Yes, yes. What so we know Julius it? already has his own following. He has a whole fan club. Right. So this right. guy has a bar that he has to reach, so. <laughs> I mean, so now Julius has been her bodyguard. Gosh, it feels like forever at this almost. point. Almost since the beginning. Um, and he has managed to gain notoriety fairly quickly with just one clip. Yep. I mean, he's, he's attractive. It's the that smirk helps. at the end. The so smirk. I watched the video like four times because we were doing a segment, <laughs> you know, so I was like doing research. And then it's that smirk that gets you yeah, every time. Yeah. yeah. It's, I, I think it's so funny how you put his profile on private. He's like, this is, I, I can imagine, I actually, for this. you know what, I can imagine he was probably like, this This doesn't work with my line right. of, of work right. to be insta-famous. Yeah, I'm sure so. he's never been at this level before. This is Beyonce. It's probably, yeah. he's taking it all in like, wow, okay, <laughs> I'm really here. Oh, I yes. can't be bigger than the clients I protect. Exactly. Like, other clients, not Beyonce. Exactly. All right, Chris. You're right, though. I think it was the smirk. All right, let's go from Beyonce to Taylor Swift because she answered her fans' wildest dreams overnight, okay? And the date has some significance. Yesterday was August 9th, 8-9, and she announced a re-recording of her hit album, 1989. The Grammy Award-winning pop star took to Twitter for the surprise announcement. In October, she will re-release 1989 Taylor's version. So in the tweet, she says this latest project is her most favorite re-record ever done. The re-record is the fourth among Swift's catalog as an exercise to reclaim her artistic ownership. 1989 Taylor's version will feature 21 songs, including five never-before-released vault tracks. Mm. The album is available for pre-order right now, guys. Does she ever take a break? I was going to say, while I'm not a Swifty, I'm here for this. Yeah. Like, she's always winning. It's going to go number one. She's oh, for sure. At this point. So. Right, right. I just, I'm so impressed because between the tour releasing new yes. music and she writes most of her music, mm -hmm. uh, the, the music videos. She's a machine. She's a machine. She's and I'm curious to know these five tracks that didn't make it because that is probably my favorite album of hers. Oh, really? And every song is such a hit huh. that you're like, hmm, if I didn't make it. I'm, I'm really curious to hear uh -huh. those. And a yeah. lot of artists have been doing is recreating their albums. Uh -huh. I know JoJo did it for her first album, sure did, yeah. and people are getting on that trend, so mm -hmm, it'll be interesting mm -hmm. to hear the new take on it. I love to see it, especially uh, when it comes to reclaiming, right, the yep. ownership yeah. of what yep. they've made. Take back your power. Yeah. And I second what Homa said, too, in terms of not a Swifty. I think I established that last week, but <laughs> this was the album. This was kind of that shift from country to pop that yes. she made, oh, and I yes. mean, it really put elevated her into the Can you tell me a hit on that album? I'm sure there were multiple, but what was like her most popular song? I believe it wasn't Shake It Off on this album. Oh, oh, okay. okay, that's the, the album. album. Yeah. The, the, the album. album. Y'all just had to say the mm -hmm. album, right, and I would have exactly. got you. Okay. 
All right, let's talk about Kanye West now, okay? He is a reportedly plotting a major comeback, but not necessarily music. We're talking about his fashion. This comes as he travels the world with his new wife, Bianca. Us Weekly reports Yee has grown inspired due to their new experiences, and he has gotten back into designing. Now, here's the thing. Let's take a look at some of his most recent I mean, let's call them costumes. That's just an example of what they have been wearing while oh. they have traveled the world. Okay. Just so you guys have a little flavor for it, Bianca has been helping him with his designs. Both of them reportedly believe their fashions are going to shift the culture. If this falls under Kanye's Yeezy brand, this would be Yeezy season nine. So do you see men in tights, no shoes, shoulder pads, police t-shirts, women wearing full nets over their heads with gigantic, do you think that's going to be it, guys? Is that the look? Would you? So I'm going to let you take a stab at this one. <laughs> eh, no, I'm going to know on that. But I used to be a huge Kanye fan. Not so much anymore. He's lost me over the years. But I am interested to see how he comes back. He's been, like, the most canceled person at this point. Yeah. So to see how he bounces back in his next era is interesting. I, I think um, with with a lot of the stuff that he's created, it just it's a hit, right? Like, yeah. say what you want about, about Kanye. He's been canceled multiple times yeah. over. And yet everything he touches turns to gold. I'm yeah. sure this will do well. And there are people out there who would, who would wear this. I think some people made the same criticisms about the shoe designs that he made. Right. And yet they saw out so. right right I'm curious to see it's like he has like a fairy dust that he sprinkles on things that yeah. become a hit and even though he's constantly canceled a lot of people will say okay I got canceled I'll crawl away into my million billion dollar home mm -hmm. and ride it out no he says I'm coming back I'm coming back for y'all every single time yeah so even right. with the Adidas deal, he lost that, and yep. then they came back saying, okay, we've lost a lot of money, let's uh -huh. work with him again. So. Yeah. Uh-huh, absolutely. Jojo, good to see you, my friend. It's a pleasure as don't, always. Don't wait. When you come, make sure I'm not on vacation. Exactly. That's what it, you got to time it out. I'll coordinate. We'll, we'll coordinate schedules. DM me. All yeah. right, I'll see you. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, Holly, we'll send it over to you. All right, thank you, guys. Comedian Leanne Morgan. What